Hey, what's good guys? This is uh, Chromatis. And I know it's been a while since I made another video, but actually, it hasn't been too long, but uh, I uploaded a uh, tarantula feeding video a couple days ago. It was my uh, old Afonokama Simai Costa Rican zebra tarantula eating a cricket. But that was from my old channel, so I decided to re-upload it here. But anyway, this is going to be a care sheet video for Madagascar hissing cockroaches. So, as you guys probably know by... You could just read the description on my channel that uh, I uh, am really interested in uh, insects and arachnids, and I'm a pretty big enthusiast on those type of things. And uh, I've really been getting into the hobby of collecting these type of uh, invertebrates, and it's really fun. It's a huge hobby. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good hobby. So anyway, this is going to be a cursor video for the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. As you can see here, I have the tags all out. Uh, I don't really know how to pronounce the Latin name. It's kind of like Gramophordina for Tintosa, I believe. So anyway, uh, Madagascar hissing cockroaches. As far as substrate goes, right here I just have uh, some cocoa fiber, eco earth. Um, you don't need to give them compostable substrate, even though this is compostable. But you don't need to give them, you know, like uh, uh, I don't know. They don't need to give them like garbage as compost, kind of like millipedes. Like giant African millipedes usually have compostable um, substrate, but you don't need for these guys. Over there, I have some rocks. There's a food dish: broccoli, corn. Uh, some lettuce in there. They like to eat, you know, anything uh, organic, or or um, you, you can give them, you know, like uh, rotten food. They like that too. I mean, they're, they're roaches. Come on. <laughs> so anyway, uh, these two basically just hang out on this uh, little cave I have here. As far as hides, you know, like uh, you can give them uh, a cave like this. You pick up a peco or something, and you can give them. They really like egg uh, egg cartons, and they also like uh, those uh, cardboard uh, tubes that come from uh, paper towels and toilet paper rolls. Um, occasionally, you're gonna need to give them a uh, a source of calcium and protein. Like uh, I mean, they like peanut butter, and you can give them a cuttlefish bone for calcium. Because if you don't, then they're gonna start nibbling on each other's shells. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna hurt them, but it's gonna like. Uh, irritate them a little bit and uh, I don't know if you can see uh, but there are some little mites on them which I'm going to be probably taking them off basically those mites aren't parasitic they uh, actually don't harm the animal at all they just basically feed off of any remaining food that is uh, that the roach just ate so they're kind of just they're living off the roach but uh, one way to take them to take the mites off are to they, the roaches won't like this but <laughs> they gotta deal with it you put them in like a ziploc bag or a container full with flour and you basically put the roaches in the flour and knock them around a little bit just like a tiny bit and uh, that should knock most of the uh, mites into the flour and take the roaches out make sure they're clean and uh, you know um, get rid of the mites in the flour so that's uh, that's one way to do it uh, these guys are pretty low maintenance uh, as far as size goes they get up to about this one here on the row left is I'd say about four inches no maybe no, like three and a half and uh, yeah the one on the right is the big one that's like about four and a half inches I'd say it's a pretty big guy uh, they get up to probably around you know four four and a half inches is the max as adults. These are both adults. Um, I'm just having them in a small little critter keeper. Uh, I only have two of them, so you don't need a lot of space. Unless you have like five or ten of them, or you could even have a colony. Then you need a big container, give them lots of food and egg cartons and stuff. So, um, yeah, also, these are two males. As you can see, you can probably see on the, uh, on the uh, head there, I don't know if it's the carapace, because I know Carapace are usually is an arachnid term, but I'm not completely sure for insects. But they have two horns, which uh, shows masculinity, I guess. And they, uh, yeah, that's a male. So those are both males. Uh, I don't really want any females right now because I would start a huge colony, and you know that would be kind of. I mean, these are mainly pet roaches. They're not like 
feeder rushes like the, the, the uh, bee dubias and stuff. And besides, I use crickets to feed my arachnids anyway. So these are good. Uh, these are good uh, pets. If you want to get into you know collecting pet roaches, these are good ones. And you'll notice they have holes on the sides of them, very tiny holes that they uh, when they're uh, anxious or nervous, they'll exert air pressure from those holes and make a hissing sound, which is called their Madagascar hissing cockroaches. That's what they do. Let me see if I can make one hiss. Yeah, I'll use a pair of time. No? No, these guys, uh, they're not very used to being, you know, handled and prodded, so they probably, they don't like that stuff, so they don't really hiss too much, but, uh, this is, this is basically just a basic care video for these guys. Uh, they eat everything, <laughs> pretty much the roaches, just keep that in mind, the roaches, so, they'll eat anything. So, uh, my goal for these type of videos is to help you guys understand and educate you on invertebrates and the hobby of collecting them and all sorts of different stuff. I'll be doing fitting videos, care sheet videos like this. I'll put all the care sheet information in the description as well, so it's not, you know, uh, yeah, that's probably I'm probably leaving out a lot of stuff. I should, I should like write these out before I do them. But uh, anyway, you probably can't read that, but uh, here's a side view. And, uh, yeah, and they're pretty docile and slow. Although the big one over here has, uh, sometimes they can do this, they have spines on all their legs, and if you try to pick one up by the legs, like, they pick one, uh, like, sp you can, the spines, like, are tiny little needles, basically, and they, they hurt a lot, so don't try to pick them up too much, but these are easily handleable. But, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will definitely keep you updated on different stuff, and, uh, keep the videos coming. Alright, thanks.